what is up everyone more than fishing here good morning my wife asked me to go out here today to go fishing and catch her a perch perch the setup for today is a fish finder rig for those of you that doesn't know um, how the rig goes it's just simple as in your main line you attach slider like uh, what you see right now and uh, I put up a three ounce lead weight right there and from there from the main line you tie a swivel and from the swivel you tie your leader this is a three feet of fluorocarbon leader and at the end of that you got this two odd hook bait holder so that's it and using a fish finder rig using sand crabs you also get a chance to catch a striped bass because striped bass bites on sand, sand crabs so yep that's our goal today catch some perch if you get lucky we get uh we hook up a big striped bass yeah all right let's go let's go let's go <laughs> all right let's go catch our sand crabs first this is a bait net you can get this at walmart big five dicks any local tackle shop so this is what we use to catch sand crabs very easy guys very simple for those of you guys that hasn't seen me catch a, uh, sand crabs it's basically just put your net down there when the you yeah, look at that i already got two right there that's a big wave right there right here folks look at that waves comes up put your net net down shake boom. shake your foot in the sand try uh, get that sand out uh, get that sand crabs out of the sand and hopefully we got some sand crabs here and soft shells oh. <laughs> We got one. We got oh, there's 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 there's, there's some. That means this. Hopefully we get some soft shells here. Yo, look at that. There's sand crabs right there. But what we need is the soft shells. And later, guys, I'll explain it to you. What is the difference between the soft shells and the hard shells? Oh, right there. Is that a soft shell? No, this is a hard shell. Later, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that and to uh compare oh right there that is a good soft shell right there look at that folks look at that i still get a lot of comments on what is the difference between the hard shell and a soft shell sand crab. now i'm going to show you guys what are the difference between the two i got some hard shell here and our soft shells i'll show it to you so this this is the hard shell sand crabs you guys can see that right there it's like a crab it's really really hard look at that on the other hand this is the soft shell sand crabs look at that this is soft if I'm going to compare this to another species this is like a shrimp it's soft look at that and it's kind of like a translucent that when you go up like this you can see through it and it's really soft that's why we call it soft shell so look i'm gonna press it down i'm gonna make a dent on this sand crab's back see that it's really soft hopefully you can see that guys look at that that's the front i'm gonna show you guys at the back Hopefully this one will help you guys to determine which one is which, okay? Soft shell and hard shell. So there you go, folks. Now let's get back to fishing and catch some perch. Yeah. All right, let's go. I'm using this rod from ODM Frontier X. This is a nine footer and six inches rod. And I paired up with Vansal VR50. Again, my main line is 30 pound braided line and I'm using a fish finder rig. All right, let's go. This is how I hook my sand crabs. So when I hook them, I want it to be like this, that 
the positions of sand crabs because I want it this way, like that. Because the um, the perch, based on my experience, I've noticed that they only bite this part of the sand crabs right here, which where the tail are and then the eggs uh, stays at. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna pinch it from here and comes out from here. So that's that's what we're trying to uh, cook this sand crabs. Okay, let's go from here and to down the back and just leave it like that just like that all right and hopefully we catch one today let's go and perch usually they're not that far they're just right here because perch they they feed on sand crabs just like that so they don't need to go far. Uh, they don't go far. They just go there. They they, sh they they wait for for the sand crabs to come out from the sand because you see the wave is coming up. So what happened is when the wave breaks and hits the sand, the the sun the sand crab they come out from the sand because they get disturbed. They come out and that's the time where. The fish or the perch or striped bass attack them or eat them. So that's why if you're using sand crabs, you don't really need to cast it as far as you can. No, you don't really need to cast it far. You just put it right there. Oh, we're getting a bite. See that? That's probably a small perch. They just are not really committing on it. Probably my bait is gone. So when you when you had when you have that, the a nipple bite that means that's probably a small perch that's trying to steal your bait. They're not really committing on the bite. So try to check my bait if it's still there because sometimes they just they're just gone. They, they steal it. So you don't want to waste your time waiting for the fish to bite because there's no more bait in there. See, look at that. See? It's gone. There's no more bait because they steal it. I got another soft shell right here. Go from the head, then goes through down to the bottom. Just like that. All right. Let's do it. Oh, fish on, fish on. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> this is a small perch right here. Yep. Got a perch right here. Woohoo. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> Sand crabs. Perch hook. <laughs> Got one down. Alrighty. Nice, 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 nice. Just gonna leave this one here. This is a barb perch. There's no size limit for this one. So, just gonna leave you here. This one down. I'm gonna cover it with sand because sometimes the birds try to eat them. Just there. No need to go far. Oh, fish on, fish on. Woo! Haha. <laughs> Number two, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is a baby right here. Oh, no. It's a good size. Look at that. Another bar perch. Probably the same size. Probably like nine inches or ten. Look at that, folks. Woo! Got two. Two in a row. Again, there's no size limit for barb perch and you are only allowed to take 10 perch per species. So, but you are limit to 20 fish. Just right there. Very close. 
fish on. Oh, fish on, fish on. <laughs> oh no, got away. Man. Cast it over this side. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's gone. I thought I had one. Oh yeah, I got one. Yeah. <laughs> Sub show sand crabs. Hook. <laughs> oh, this is a red tail right here. Look at this. Nice. This is this is a red tail right here. And here in California, we have a size limit for this one. You need it has to be a uh, ten and a half inches for this one so this is a red tail you can tell because uh, obviously you can see that the fins are pinkish and red so yep we can't take this one this is very small obviously and we're gonna have to return him to the water yeah back to the water see this got a good feeling on this one got to catch a big one oh fish on oh gosh that was a good bite I lost it yeah probably my bait is gone now so I got out to Oh, I got a fish on! I got a fish on! <laughs> I thought I didn't set that hook because I didn't see, I didn't feel any bites. I didn't I don't feel any fights. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Look! That's a good size right there. A bar perch right here. Look at that folks. Yeah! <laughs> nice! Look at that hook set. Sand crabs hook <laughs> already folks it was a good fishing today we caught three fish three good sized perch I'm gonna bring that home and my wife will be happy <laughs> I'm gonna fry those serve it to my pregnant wife with one plate like a mountain of rice white rice <laughs> and uh, with with a uh, with uh, chopped tomatoes Put some patisse on it, yeah. And, you know, use your hands, using the hands, dipping on the but uh, on the tomatoes. Oh my God, that is. Uh, I'm craving right now. I can't wait to go back home and cook those fish. And thanks for watching, guys. As always, you go out there and fish. Keep fishing. Be safe out there and be kind to one another again it's not just fishing it's more than fishing <laughs>